Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we're doing illustrative math, grade 8, unit 7, lesson number 4, practice problems. Okay, our first problem here, evaluate. That just means figure out what it is. 10 to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is one of our special cases. It's 1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. 10 to the 3 divided by 10 to the 3. Anything divided by itself is 4 divided by 4. 18 divided by 18. Anything divided by itself is 1. This kind of explains this because if we have an exponent divided by an exponent, we subtract them. 10 to the 3 divided by 10 to the 3 means subtract the exponents. 3 divided by 3 is, or sorry, 3 subtract 3 is 0. So this is also 10 to the power of 0. Anything divided by itself is 1. Ooh, this one's a little trickier. 10 squared, 10 times 10 is 100. 10 to the 1 is 10. 10 to the 0, anything to the 0 is 1. Let's add those together. 100 plus 10 plus 1 equals 1, 1, 1. 111. Write each expression as a single power of 10. Okay, first thing I'm thinking is if we are multiplying, we can add the exponents. 10 to the 3 times 10 to the 4 is 10 to the 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, divided by 10 to the 5. Ooh, now we are subtracting exponents. 7 subtract 5 is 2. Ooh, on this one, let's deal with this stuff first. So that's 10 to the 4 times. 10 to the 12 divided by 10 to the 7. 12 subtract 7 is 5. So 10 to the 5. 10 to the 4 times 10 to the 5 means we can add those. 10 to the 9. Ooh. How do we want to deal with this? PEMDAS says let's deal with what's in the parentheses first. So we're still going to have parentheses to the power of 4. We know it's going to be 10 to the power of something. 10 to the 5 divided by 10 to the 3 means we subtract the exponents. 5 subtract 3 is 2. Now, we have 10 squared to the power of 4. Our rule when we are exponentiating, when we have something to a power, we multiply the exponents. 2 times 4 is 8. Ooh, now this one's getting a little longer. 10 to the 4 times 10 to the 5 times 10 to the 6. 4 plus 6 is 10 plus 5 is 15. So that's 10 to the 15 on top. 10 to the 3 times 10 to the 7. 3 plus 7 is 10. So it's 10 to the 15 divided by 10 to the 10. If we are dividing, we subtract exponents. 15 subtract 10 is 5. Okay, next one. 10 to the 5 squared multiply the exponents 2 times 5 is 10 so it's 10 to the 10 on top and 2 times 3 is 6 10 to the 6 on the bottom 10 to the 10 divided by 10 to the 6 means we can subtract the exponents 10 subtract 6 is 4 the sun is roughly 10 times 10 squared times as wide as Earth. The star KW Sagittarii is roughly 10 to the 5 times as wide as Earth. 
how many times as wide as the sun is KW Sagittari? So, the sun is this many times as wide as Earth. Sagittarius is this many times as wide as Earth. If we want to compare the two of them, we just have to do 10 to the 5 divided by 10 squared. 10 to the 5 divided by 10 squared. We are dividing, so we subtract the exponents. 5 subtract 2 is 3. Ooh, bananas cost $1.50 a pound. Guavas cost $3 a pound. Kieran spends $12 on fruit for a breakfast his family is hosting. Let B be the number of pounds of bananas, and G be the number of pounds of guavas he buys. Write an equation relating the two variables. So... We know 1.5 times the number of pounds of bananas, B, plus $3 times the number of pounds of guavas has to equal $12 because he spent 12 bucks. This says rearrange the equation so that b is the independent variable. If we want b to be the independent, b depends on g, so we want an equation to have g in it. So we want to wind up with g equals something. So to make this look like G equals something, we have to get rid of this first. How would we get rid of that? We would subtract it. Subtract it from this side, it'll cancel. And we would have 3G, because this canceled, equals 12 subtract 1.5B. Now to get the G by itself, we have to divide by three. Do it to one side, you gotta do it to the other. Those will cancel. This one is G equals 12 divided by 3 is 4. 1 and a half divided by 3 is 1 half B. So now B is the independent variable because G depends on B. Now let's do it the other way where G is the independent variable. So we want B equals something. If I want B to equal something, I've got to get rid of this 3G, so I'll subtract it from here, which means I have to subtract it from the other side. 1.5B equals, because the 3G went away, 12 subtract 3G. Now I'm going to get that 1.5 to go away. Divide by 1.5, do it to that side, I have to do it to this side. Now. B equals, what is 12 divided by one and a half? Well, dividing by a fraction means multiplying by the reciprocal. So what is, one and a half is three over two. The reciprocal of that is two thirds. What is two thirds of 12? That is eight. Three times two-thirds is two. Excellent. B equals eight minus two G. So we solved it so that G is independent. B depends on G and we solved it so that B is independent. G depends on B. Lynn's mom bikes at a constant speed of 12 miles an hour. Lynn walks at a constant speed, one-third of the speed her mom bikes. So Lynn goes 12 miles per hour, or Lynn's mom goes 12 miles per hour, so in one hour... Ooh, there's just not really enough time for that. But 12 miles in one hour 
means six miles in half an hour. Now, Lynn walks at a speed one-third of her mom. So in half an hour, if mom goes six, one-third of six is two. Sketch a graph of both of these equations. Excellent. That was the last one. This has been another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.